Now let's meet a group that's already been inspired by taking part in one of NASA's education programs. This one is called Imagine Mars. It's a hands-on experience where students use 21st century skills and their imaginations to answer a challenging question. What would it take to live on Mars? The big problem that we're all facing today is that the United States is falling behind other countries in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And it's a big problem, so the question is, what do we do? Our solution that we have is a project called Imagine Mars, where we ask students to imagine and design a community on the planet Mars. Uh, Aria is a radio terror, and um, the reason in which we chose it was because it's a flat surface, it's like a valley. Here, um, this is my habitat on Mars, but first we have the map here. So pretty much explaining like our position and our whole purpose of setting up. So right here is a place called Hellas Planet, and it's like the lowest surface on Mars. But it was somewhere in this area. Okay, yeah. somewhere in this Close area. To the equator. Why did you guys choose that particular location on Mars to put your community? Well, since we're on Mars and it's farther away from the sun, we want to try and get as much sunlight and heat as we can. Imagine Mars fits into this process called project-based learning. That means we give the students a task that they need to achieve. And in order to achieve that task, they need to learn things along the way. The task that we're giving them is they need to build a community on Mars. If we're going to another planet, we might as well start fresh and yeah, healthier. That's why I come in because I am the head of botany and agriculture and I just, I'm in charge of like the plants and what well, we're gonna eat our nutrition plants, which we won't be eating meat, you know, we're gonna be healthy in the farms. <laughs> they started on this process, this exploration process to look into their own community, figure out the things that they liked about it and things that they would change and they worked with architects, took tours of these amazing places like the Center for Green Technology, and they saw how green technology was being used throughout the city. And the students had amazing ideas, they created a lot of solutions to living on the planet Mars, but it didn't end there. They had to visualize those ideas using 3D architectural software. And they only had a short time to do it, but their energy and their excitement about their ideas really gave them momentum to learn this software. And they went from not ever having touched or used this software before to coming up with these amazing designs that, that we see in this project. This was exciting. This was something to do for summer that wouldn't have happened without Imagine Mars. And um, it was something that they can go back to school and report during the summer this is what I did and they can write a paper on it and they can apply the knowledge straight into the classroom which is really great because it emphasizes as I said before careers that normally wouldn't be exposed to kids um, technology um, science and all the other careers and the kids now are talking about being architects some of them being doctors some of them being um, scientists themselves or engineers. So it's, it's really just a great career opening. If you look at their project and the amount of time that they actually were working with the software, I mean, there's a major transformation in their knowledge and in their skills. And it just goes to show you what can happen when you give students a unique and engaging opportunity to learn.